Feeling insecure is a normal human feeling. I mean, everybody feels insecure. I've had a lot of subscribers lately ask me though, Mary Jo, can you talk about insecurities in relationships? Why are we so insecure? I think part of the reason is because dating apps make you more insecure because people ghost more frequently, they bench, they breadcrumb and do all these other things because of their level of attachment online. In real life, the insecurities maybe aren't as strong unless you've been influenced in the past by dating apps and what's happened to you. But at any rate, it's pretty normal for people to say, you know, I feel insecure. I'm not sure I'm with, going to be with the right person. Or what if we decide, my partner decides they really want kids and I'm not sure about it. And then what would happen if we are already really close? Or what happens if I'm with someone and I can tell right away that it's not going to work for marriage, but yet I really like this person and I end up feeling you know, guilty, but at the same time, I can't let go of them. These are all insecurities that manifest and feeling them is one thing. Living your life and allowing those insecurities to basically limit you from doing what you want to do or having a relationship is a whole new level. And if you're feeling insecure on a more intense level, then I think there's steps that you can do now besides getting counseling that are going to help you a lot. The first of these steps is stop assuming that your insecurities are your fault, right? Many times our anxieties play game on us. And if you were raised in a chaotic home, or maybe you had bad experiences before, or you've been on dating apps, or in different dating situations where something ended up really hurting you and you had to go through a breakup or you had to break up with them. At any sense, there was a feeling of loss and grief. And so that anxiety comes back when you're dating. And so, yes, that is a real thing that can happen, but it's not your fault. It's normal. What happened would happen to any healthy person. Number two, approach your insecurities with curiosity. And I love to do that with clients. Like, let's just get really curious about this. Like, why is this a thought? Why are you ruminating about it? Why are you allowing it to, you know, change your lifestyle or maybe influence some of your decisions? The more curious you can be, the more you can pick apart it and say, well, you know what? I was really a young person then. I wasn't really aware of what was going on. I wasn't used to dating. I wasn't clear in who I was, in my boundaries, in my own relationship. When you present curiosity, it helps a lot dismantle or minimize the insecurity. Number three, tell your partner how you feel. Sometimes you're, that will broaden it, that will deepen it. When you tell your partner, listen, I'm feeling really insecure about this. I don't know where it's coming from. Then your partner can offer help. Well, you know, we've been talking about me moving and doing work from another city and keeping whatever it is. Many times we overlook things that our partner has the other key to. And when we let them in and allow them to see our insecurities, they can validate us, they can reassure us, and they can help minimize the insecurity we're feeling. And so we feel much more secure and in love. Thus, we will we will continue to be vulnerable and open with them. I think the fourth one is focus on your positive attributes. Insecurities love insecure people who pick apart at themselves. So the more you focus on what you bring to the table, your good points, your strong points, as well as your failures, because your partner has failures too, the less you're going to get into this comparative thing like, oh my God, they're so much better than me. Because once you start telling yourself that, then the power is shifted and you're always, you're always a little more worried. And that is enough to really kickstart an insecurity within your dating relationship. Strengthen your wins. When you do something that is really great or you get an award or you get noticed for something, really strengthen it by telling yourself, wow, that was a good job. Tell friends around you, 
really, I'm really feeling good about myself because I did this and this. Share it with your partner. Have a celebration night. The more you take note and celebrate your wins, the better you're going to feel about yourself. When you were a child, your parents used to do that for you. So in a sense, you have to learn how to parent yourself as an adult too, right? So basically, when you celebrate your wins, it's going to help you with that. Don't compare yourself to others. When the minute you start comparing, you raise your insecurities. Let's face it, if your partner or whoever you're dating thinks you're cute and they're wanting to date you, then they're not looking at some Instagram promoter or somebody else on social media who looks better. That's not their thought. They like you for all you are. Don't get any deeper or allow your insecurities to run with certain flaws that you're fixated on in your personal look at home compared to these, you know, these professional um, influencers who are making tons of money by promoting something that isn't really real many times. Um, talk to a professional. If it's getting in your way and you just can't overcome it and you've noticed it not only in one relationship but several, that's a time to say, you know what, I've tried these other things and they might help a little bit, but basically I think I've got a real void in here. Like I'm really insecure about something. A professional can help peel that away, help dismantle it and help you get on top of it so that you can feel the trigger when it's coming, learn the cues and then, you know, do something different or say something different or have a little time with yourself so that you can overcome what you're feeling at that moment. And it's step by step sometimes. And don't forget, some people make us more intimidated and insecure than others. I have those people, you have those people. And it doesn't matter who it is, it's more that you recognize what it is in that person that makes you feel a little bit more intimidated and then you deal with that in yourself.